New weekly. Cordura and Scav Vest. Oh, good ragman rep. But I have, to, I have to get 10 found in raid Scav Vest and 4 Kajura. Kajura is easy. Can we craft Scav Vest? Oh, we didn't mark one of them. All right, let's, um, let's start with doing the the barter trades I needed. So first things first, we've got the barter trade for this. So I should be able to go, doink. And done, and that should hand in for the quest. All right, and that's got a 24 hour cooldown. Um, mechanic level one barter trade now for. Might need to reload. All right, the other one is now we can get a bunkhouse key too. So we can use that for our quest. And what was this key? Rogue Usex stash. That's the one inside the water treatment, isn't it? It's pretty crap. Frost! There you go, man. It's the 14 months. How do you not just have the name Frost? Why do you have to be Frost underscore? And by the way, guys, if you haven't checked out Frost content, he's, I've probably watched more of his Rust movies than anyone else besides maybe Wellen. Put scant together really, really, really good Rust content. Him and Wellen are my go-to. Um, Rust watchings got a lot of meds out of that too it's nice all right i think we're gonna go do bunkhouse now we have another m4 mag we do cool 855 i'm glad i took in that 856 ammo we would have been in a lot of strife all right bunkhouse pharmacy what else do we have to do on customs I'll leave this here yeah delete fmjs <sighs> Customs. Set up. We're not doing set up this raid. I'm not going to mess around my gear. Pharmacist. Rashala. Dorms kills. Holocom hobo. Hey, where the fuck? Oh, because it says you got to get the key on factory. Oh, the main priority is bad rep evidence. I think this leads to ice cream cones. EFT wiki bad rep. Yeah, this goes ice cream cones. And then we get uh, Postman Pat shaking up Teller. And we already got the key for shaking up Teller as well. Which means we can pretty much go... Into Punisher. So yeah, we've just opened up uh, Prapor. Prapor. What's the next gunsmith? EFT Wiki Gunsmith 6. It is the AKM. Do I keep <coughs> this AKM? Oh, no. It's, I think it's the Magpul one. You have to have everything Magpul. That actually might be a little bit of frustration. We'll see how we go. Uh, we do need the shift grip though. So we need to get this barter trade. So we need three more violet lamps and three more DVDs. So put that on our to get list as well. Everything is Zenit. No, I don't think it's that one. No, nah, it's not that one. This one's like for the shift grip, the Magpul mag, which we've just got. So there's only actually two mandatory items, which is a mag, which we have, and we've got to get the Forda script, which we can get off um, that barter trade. So we need two DVDs, two ultraviolets. B Chad, thanks for seven eight months. What are we doing again? Oh, the um, bug house. First time watching the stream. Cheers from California. Here you go, mate. My favorite taco stream. I watch all your content on YouTube for a lot, such a long time. Place it's 2017. I still learn every day from you. No worries, man. Dude, I still learn heaps about Tarkov every day. So that'll have been helpful though. When's it worth trying to go for the door when you get the key? I pretty much on my main account always have at least one camera, Wi-Fi camera on me. 
And then that way, if I go to a street trade and there's people in there, or you hear gunshots in that area, you go check it out. And then, uh, you know, if the door's open, you can just go place the first camera and then go back on another raid and place the second. But you just need to have one, one camera on you at all times. And then that way you don't even have to farm the key. You just wait for someone else to open it. Hey Pest, I was banned last week for what I assume was account sharing after logging onto my account via my laptop from work which has a Canadian ISP. I've struggled to hear anything from BSG. Would you have any thoughts on what I could do? There's literally nothing you could do. Contact BattleEye. But outside of that man, BSG won't comment. They have the worst customer support in the history of gaming. I'm dead. I'm not dead, by the way. Survive that. Which extract do I go for? That sounds like it's over there. So I think we'll go check. We'll check boat. Not up. I was hallucinating. Oh. That sounds like it's on that side. We might be able to go for Ruath. Right, coming, boy, river. <coughs> that might be a run through, actually. It is first run through of the uh, playthrough. Because I didn't headshot the scav. I contacted BSG regarding a bug with my traders. They didn't answer to my to my ticket, but they fixed the issue after like a week. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and he's black and white cat. We need to do Postman Pat so we can get checking up teller. Just not found. All right, looks like we're going factory again. I see that doesn't count as a survive, so our survival streak is now lost. Ah, <sighs> sadness. It doesn't really mean anything though. I feel like this is excessive to go into factory. 
Is run through a bad thing? I mean, do you have something negative besides found in raid status? You look, get a let, you get less XP. That's pretty much the main one. Lose the found in raid and get less XP. I'm not here to fuck spot actual Aussie slang. It is. Yeah. What does it mean? Not here to mess about. It means you're not here to mess about. Should have brought in a grenade. Tried to get my last grenade. Oh, I did. <sighs> what makes this white feel so different? I can't put my finger on it. Recall, armor. I agree with those statements. Hello? Let's go there. Hello? I'm assuming there's extra campers for how quiet this road is. Yes. I think they can in the office trying to get office kills. Postman packed on and we got ourselves some in so we can do our med case. Now we just have to wait for the med case to reset. When's the next reset? Do, 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 do. Eighteen minutes. Right, we need to do an eighteen minute raid. We could do one customs, try and get um checking up Teller done. Gonna be in and, out, in and out of customs in seventeen minutes. Need to restart my game to get shaking up teller. It looks like. There it is. Just 203, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> delete, delete. I feel like for the rep, it's worth doing this. Try and find these florals.
You need a 303 key? No, it's 203. For checking up Teller. But I do need a 303 key. Um. Need motors. When are we going to find a publisher? So we're going to find Survive 2 Interchanges too. There's no reason to keep the bunkhouse key, right? I'm not going to like sell it and need it later. Oh, we're a little bit in trouble here. We need to get these keys. Checkpoint, I know we can buy. Might be the next level we can buy a checkpoint. Is one of these checkpoint? What are these ones? Oh, that's marked. Is this checkpoint? All right, so a manual and four vodkas. Add that to the list. We need a manual and four vodkas. We also still need three hunting matches and a survival order. All right. And therapist resets in 13 minutes. I don't have therapist two anymore. I can't even do it. After all that. After all <laughs> oh my God. We need to get pharmacist done. Do we have any more slickers? Oh, we need to find slickers too. Fuck me. All right, let's just do shaking up Teller. Or die trying. The hardcore grind never ceases. It really doesn't. What's the use of checkpoint key? I need to hand it in. Has there been any no completely unjust bannings? My buddy got banned the other day. 100% no, he doesn't cheat. Dude's frugal and doesn't even trust downloading music off YouTube. He isn't going to trust someone, some online cheats. And his unjust ban has caused our entire five-man group to stop playing completely. There's been heaps of people that have been banned for, like, unjustly. But the only way to fix it is to contact BattleEye and wait one to four months. If Koyajin, thanks for the prom. Nick Barjin, thanks for the two months. Running a five man, you deserve it. Bra. I'm hitting that rail. Scab, unfortunately. <laughs> At least I think it was. Justice. Yep. Scab.
What did he say? He said room service. There's more than one. Is my room service? Hmm. Good point. He might have just jumped outside. Oh, here we go. Nothing's been touched upstairs. And you meow would VoIP. <laughs> I want to. A little one or a big one?
Nah, I haven't finished that up yet. Do you have the ability to stream your display slash game capture to a higher FPS than 60? Seen a few content creators doing it on Twitch and it looks crisp. Um, probably. I pro would have the capability. There is a good chance these guys did 114. Reloading his shotgun. I just took it into the back of the head. Oh, this fucking game sometimes. He literally point blanked me in the back of the head. He's on the roof. Anyone see him? Somewhere in the middle. He might have shot the cafe window out. Oof. Oh, that might have been him. Two heavy bleeds. The late one there. I'm out. I'm gonna get shaking up Teladon.
Who blew my arms off? I'm guessing it was the player or a scab. One of those two, but I'm I'm leaning towards the player. Not hallucinating, I definitely heard a noise there. Punisher. Another great raid. Impact night. I'm glad. I'm glad I survived that. Just so. <laughs> I could beat the doubters. Super keen to go to street, uh, sorry, to the shoreline. I really, really, really need this done. I could just farm it for a bit, do some setup. Oh, I need food for setup. Let's get the, um, the armors. Oh, the, sorry, the rigs. All right, so what if I get rid of for now? I might just get rid of this armor. I think we're just gonna have to keep farming. For uh, for, uh, sorry, for uh, pharmacist, we just try and get some dorms kills or something. We don't need the 203 key for anything, do we? Like, that's there's no follow on thing I've forgotten. All right, sell it. We need level 30 before we can 
get the next stash upgrade. Two and a half, three levels. Other option, we do streets. Hope to get administrator a little bit of progress. Let's do that. There's not really much else to do on streets, to be honest. Lighthouse. We need motors. We should do this actually. But it leads into a heap of uh, tasks like revision and stuff. It's a heap of XP. All I have to do is mark something and we can do signal at the same time. And to get Ragman through, we have to do more quests anyway. So, all right, a jammer and a marker. Got him. Take a little bit of cash for the car. I've already finished the gunsmith task, Phoenix. Oh, uh, Foxy, sorry. Can't do med case trade because I need the rep now, which I need pharmacist done. I'm going to do this and then we'll head back to customs. Oh, we're on Punisher. Are we on Punisher now? Okay, we should switch. Yeah, we do have Punisher. Actually, we should take markers for this too. If we're going to go there, we might as well get it. We actually would get the next level too. Crap the three, which gets insider done or whatever it is for the mechanic. All right. Um, that's going to be annoying though. We're going to be holding onto that for a little bit. So 8km and three markers. So I need two more. You're not going to like what I want to do. I'm going to sell that VPO. I think I'm just going to barter. For an AKM. I know I need to hit with the Shonka for a quest later, but how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten. I'm thinking about bartering because I want to use all these gun parts and I don't want to, I don't want to, um, a lot of these parts I'm going to use for the gunsmith. This, I probably could have used this one, but. Cool, that'll do. So is there any other shoreline tasks that I'm thinking of, forgetting of? Lend we actually have lend lease as well. We should go really, really, really late to resort. And then hopefully we can get um, some of the other stuff done like lend lease and vitamins. Ugh. This is in a pretty horrible spot. Um. What do we need for the all the logistics? Hunting matches and something. We might just end up picking up the um the lend lease item and then I suppose I could go around the back of resort. This is like a really bad spot. for what we need to do.
That was a really bad spawn for us. Like, we had to go through... No matter where we went, we had to go through literally every player in the map. If we wanted to go to the resort, we had to go through like six players on that side. And it was... GG's. I'm surprised I didn't hit him. Or I didn't hit him much, at least. Six hits. 281 damage. Fuck, I could barely see anything besides his head. Classic shoreline experience? Yeah. It sucks, but... Oh, well. That's our first death, isn't it? First death in three hours? All right. Ah... Uh, and that's why we took in that AKM. Might need to use this. <clears throat> um, we're gonna have to use this one. Should be a painkiller somewhere down here. There. Two more of these. All right, we go again. Hopefully, we don't get a shitty, shitty spawn. I think we save the horses. There's an MBS train. We need the DVDs, so we'll take that. Cool. Okay, so we'd won this. I have to go backwards to get the markers down here, but there should only be one player to have to kill or a squad, one squad-ish. Or we might catch them off guard if we run back towards them. So they'll be running towards us. Not ready for us. That's why a bit better protection. It's rough not having a sight though. That sight would have helped on that last fight a lot. Oh, what? It's not this one? Oh, no, it's not healthcare privacy. I'm on fucking... Okay. Oh, that's silly. Any scavs? There's a scav there. One tap. Oh, I missed. I can see the blood from where I hit him. He's still alive though. You miss a hundred percent of this shot to your tank, chat.
Oh, we didn't bring money for the car either. I found a 321 key, actually. What do we need the manual for? Checkpoint key? Okay. Thank you. Well, hopefully that scav on the island bleeds out. Lucky pilled, thanks for two months. True as well, what's up with Mastermind? Can you message VG and ask him to remove the snow? Snow's amazing, dude. Why don't you, why don't you like the snow? Go, go take a sniper into woods and, and see how much better it is with snow. Like go do all your wood sniping tasks and stuff. All your taco shooters and that. Shooter born in heaven. You'll get your kills so much faster while there's snow. So then when the snow leaves, you've at least got that done. Can you go to the top of this now and snipe down? Does that work? Oh, you're pretty exposed. That scab guy. I don't want to break my leg. We're going to go as late as possible to the resort. I've got an aim first. Shooting a, I'm shooting a light. Hold on, test. But it's dead.
Hello? Meow? Probably grab that. God, just die. Don't we really need? Do we get rid of the clock? Let's get rid of the clock. It's heavy. Do we run all the way up to, what's his name? Is that Mustache or Chief GG? Oh, no, it's Sequisha. I don't know, do we need more double A bats? I would play it safe. Do you have items you need on you? Okay. Turn that one. Take a bag. So you, how do you tell if the boat's up? Is there like a green smoke or something now? I guess it's not up. <clears throat> so where do we head? just got so much we can do if we just head up there though and if the doors are open that's like keys we don't have to farm
I don't know. New area then resort. There's no need for me to go to new area. It's a bit of a gun battle. Uh, I think the patch was only for arena, wasn't it, Nepeno? Imagine if goons were here. That'd be sadness. Yeah, I think I think Arena had a patch. No, it, yeah, I don't know. Has anyone else had a patch for Taco today? Let me to jump in. You had an Arena update? Yeah, I think it's just Arena, bro. I would love to see the concurrent players for Arena, and in particular, per region. I don't think it would be very high for fringe regions at all. I think NAs would still be healthy, but... Don't be too mean. Good impact, night. Cool, seven more, or well, seven of the eight kills we need. Bit of a, I wasn't really a resident sleeper, but it was a bit of a running mode, running man kind of raid. Yeah, I'm gonna be pretty much, all next week I'll be working on guides. I don't think I'll be playing any hardcore next week.
Yeah, we can keep that. Flash trial we can hand in. This makes me want to do a factory run just to get the last grenade kill. Is this something I should hold on to for a gunsmith or... Okay, so 111, 278. 111, 278, 51 ergo. 67, so it's six more ergo. But maybe it's this bit, like with the tube, we could put like a much better stock on. I don't know if we've got others, but. I think I might just hold on to it for a gunsmith. The core on the... Oh, it's got heaps of Ergo. I'll hold on to that one too. To be honest, I'd sell this gun. It's done its part, you know. But I can put a side on this. Doing it. This has been a really good gun for us though. Uh, we're going to hand in the Lend Lease. All right, now we pretty much just have to head up to the resort. Everything we need is up at the resort. The question is, do we hand in the million rubles? Oh, key, new key. What was it? Safe. Cottage safe key. <sighs> if only we had the cottage key. Ruined. Um, Let's see, what do we got? We had other keys. Just gotta find them. West 306, don't really need that today. Or right now. Okay. Let's go. Let's just take a second heavy bleed just to be safe, you know. The only reason I won't do this yet is, I suppose we need level 30 anyway, don't we? And we've got to save up a lot more money. Maybe I should just hand this in. Get it done. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about rep, like at least for a little bit. One more level and a bit more money spent. We'll do some cells to skier. All right, let's keep going. Ugh. If 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 the Kappa speed run was any sort of gauge on how much time I spend on loading screens. There's no way I'm surviving this. I fucking clapped that guy in the head first bullet and then I shot him again in the chest and he turns and kills me. It was a second, obviously, but fucking hell. 100% shot the, the first bullet in the guy's head. You saw the blood. Well, I'll be happy. One, the guy that killed me has a 0.9 KD. Bruh. I'm guessing the first bullet was tanked by his helmet. That sucks. Yeah, we're not going back to shoreline now. We actually didn't really do much in shoreline then. We got like we got a lot of partial quests done. If we want to go up XP, we can. Wait, what's nostalgia? We did nostalgia, didn't we? Whatever it was called. Courtesy visit. How, isn't courtesy visit go to nostalgia? Is that level 27 or 28? EFT wiki Kurt C visit. Goes to nostalgia, needs a level 28. Okay. We should go back there at 28 then. Alright, do we have No, we don't have any scav vests. Or ability to get them. So we can't do setup. We could finish reserves, fuel matter. Try and do bunker. Let's that helmet. Probably do something like this. What's, where's Tarkov shooter? Sorry, where's Punisher Part 2 take place now? EFT wiki Punisher 2. Is this woods? Reserve. Kind of want to finish. Kind of want to finish this. Do I have enough mags? do all right we're going back to shoreline we're gonna have to farm some stuff oh, wrong one
Let's get a good spawn. I want to spawn all the way near the resort. <laughs> What's that? I had one spawn at the far end of um the I don't know the radar tower side, and the next two spawns were right at the tunnel extract. I need to spawn it behind the resort so I can just run up and mark everything and done, and hide in there and kill them all. <laughs> if Taco is so realistic, why can't I duct tape an underbarrel grenade launcher to my Mosin? It's not realistic. I'm, I'm one of the biggest creatures of Tarkov is not a realistic game. The only thing that re is realistic about Tarkov is the guns go bang and they make noise. What game's realistic? Armor's pretty good. Armor's pretty painful. In, in armor, you run like four steps and you're like, <gasps> and then also you get shot and you just die or you fall over and you're unconscious. Yeah, it's quite you can hit, re res people though. You get shot in armor, you pretty much just take a knee and fall over. Like, in real life, if you got shot in the chest by a 7.62 round and you had a plate that could tank it, it doesn't, it's not like the plate takes the hit and nothing happens after it. That energy still has to get dispersed anywhere. And it's generally your ribs, all right? It goes into the plate and all that power hits the plate and then the energy gets forced into your ribs and you, you get knocked over. <laughs> You'd be winded. You'd be like, you'd be in the fucking hurt. Like, I would not want to get shot in the chest. Let's put it that way. I got fragged in the leg and that fucking hurt. <laughs> it would, it, if you were running and you got shot in the, in the, in the chest plate, you would not like life. You'd be like, fuck. Same with a 12 gauge slug. Dude, I would never want to get hit by a 12 gauge slug. It would blow a hole into the plate if it, well, I'd assume, I wouldn't know for sure, but I'd imagine it would blow a hole in a plate. All right, how do I? Fuck, I'm just gonna run to the resort. What do you mean you got fragged? I had a 50 cal blow up on me. Went into my leg. Nearly took off the crown jewels. If you look up PKA podcast pestily 50 cal or something like that, or shot. I do a full explanation to the story there. On YouTube. I think we found a question that could be answered by Demolition Ranch. How much would it hurt being shot in the plate? I don't, I don't think it needs to be tested to know that it would really hurt. Like, like I said, the, the force, like the, the power, the energy of the bullet has to disperse somewhere. It's, it's not like it hits the plate and just goes, bloop. Class 5 armor detected, therefore energy dispersed into the atmosphere. <laughs> I'm done. Like, Nikita uses realistic as playable as one of the things he likes to describe Tarkov to be. Please no one in admin already. Snipers guys haven't shot yet, so I don't think anyone's coming from 
from that side, maybe. I think I just focus on getting the task done first and then worrying about like this is a crazy thing to do but I think I just run straight out and mark this thing a fucking game Joking! Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. That was a, just a normal scav. I don't if that's a player scav, that's a very early spawned player scav. It's just a normal scav. Shot me in the neck. Man. <laughs> it's like the scav was uh straight into the next shot before I even had a chance to finish. I'm getting bullied a little bit here. Are you telling me I have to survive the raid as well? What? Motherfucker. All right, we're not going back.